Hello students, in this lecture we will learn about the gas cycle refrigeration system. Okay, gas cycle refrigeration system is the one in which air is used as a refrigerant. Okay, particular thing about this type of refrigeration cycle is there is no phase change of the refrigerant in the entire cycle uh, unlike that of uh, the vapor compression cycle in which there is phase change of refrigerants. It condenser, it converts into liquid refrigerant passes through the condenser and converts into liquid and when the same refrigerant passes through the evaporator it again changes to vapor but in case of gas cycle refrigeration system there is no as such phase change takes place with the refrigerant air itself however we can use any gas but generally air is used as a refrigerant so air itself works as a refrigerant in case of gas cycle refrigeration system okay and there is no as such phase change of air in the entire cyclic process this type of refrigeration system works on, ideally works on thermodynamic cycle that is called as reverse Brayton cycle. Okay, a gas turbine runs on Brayton cycle, but the gas cycle refrigeration system works on reverse Brayton cycle. Okay, to understand this thing, I have a good example with me. You can see over here in this picture, there is a piston cylinder system. This is the cylinder, okay, in which there is a piston fitted which can slide inside the cylinder. And inside this piston cylinder system, there is some air with it, okay. And the walls of this cylinder are conducting, means heat can go inside and outside through this system, okay. And surrounding temperature is 40 degree centigrade, means this experiment is done in the surrounding where the temperature is 40 degree centigrade, okay. So initially this system is in thermal equilibrium with the surrounding, so inside temperature is also 40 degree centigrade. Okay. And suppose the initial energy content of air inside this cylinder is 100 joules. That is the internal energy of air. Okay. So once again, this is the piston cylinder system which contains some amount of air in it. Okay. And the air content has the internal energy with it that is equal to 100 joules. And the temperature of air initially is 40 degree centigrade which is in equilibrium with the surrounding temperature. Okay. Now these values, these magnitudes, numerical val values I have took as fictitious values just to make you understand these are not the correct values for air just to make you understand I am taking these numerical values okay now the air content is there inside this cylinder suppose this piston is forced to compress this gas adiabatically adiabatic compression takes place okay so what will happen in case this gas is adiabatically compressed by the help of work done over it what will happen the temperature of air will rise because we know this thing that in adiabatic compression always temperature rises okay suppose the amount of work which is input for this case is 100 joules okay so 100 joule work is invested in air so initially it was having 100 joules of energy now 100 joules more are added in form of work done so now the net energy content internal energy content with the air is 200 joules okay and suppose by this compression adiabatic compression the temperature rises to 150 degree centigrade suppose Okay, now we know this thing that the walls of the cylinder are conducting means heat can go in and out since the inside temperature is greater than the outside surrounding temperature. So what will happen? Heat will start going out of the system. Okay, now allow the heat to go out of the system. You can see in this third picture that heat is coming out of the system. Okay, and we know this thing that heat always transfers from high temperature to low temperature until the both systems becomes in thermal equilibrium. Okay, so heat will start coming out of the system and heat will come out and go to the surrounding until and unless the inside temperature equalizes the surrounding temperature okay suppose ultimately this compressed air attains the temperature of 40 degree centigrade and becomes in thermal equilibrium with the surrounding okay and in this case suppose 100 joules of heat energy is removed okay because heat is going out of the system suppose the amount of heat which has been rejected by this system is 100 joules okay so total 100 joules of energy heat energy is gone out of this system okay now the air's temperature this compressed air temperature again attains the temperature of that of surrounding air. now what happens this air is again adiabatically expanded in this third case the air's temperature was 40 degree centigrade now it is adiabatically expanded what will happen since in adiabatic expansion always temperature decreases so now its temperature will fall below 40 degree centigrade suppose it is 10 degree centigrade got it 
okay air is adiabatically expanding it is working against some load okay because in adiabatic expansion work is done by the system so what will happen since in adiabatic expansion the temperature drops therefore the final temperature will be smaller than the initial temperature so initial temperature was 40 degrees centigrade final temperature will be 10 degrees centigrade and suppose the final energy content of air is 25 joules okay now this air is cool this coolness can be used for developing refrigeration effect somewhere to meet some load this is what the principle of gas cycle refrigeration system once again air was there with normal temperature equal to that of surrounding it is adiabatically compressed due to adiabatic compression what happened the temperature has been raised okay you can see 150 degree centigrade so in case inside temperature is greater than surrounding temperature and the walls of the cylinder are conducting so heat will start going out of the system up to the time the inside temperature equalizes the surrounding temperature okay so the compressed air inside again attains the temperature of surrounding temperature now in this case if this compressed air is expanded adiabatically we know this thing in adiabatic expansion temperature drops so therefore temperature drops and this air cools down this coolness this cool air can be used for developing refrigeration effect somewhere this is what the principle of gas cycle refrigeration system now coming to the topic a gas cycle refrigeration system consists of four main components those are the compressor okay for adiabatic compression and there is a heat exchanger called as hot heat exchanger okay then there is a turbine where adiabatic expansion takes place and there is another heat exchanger cold heat exchanger which is connected to the system where refrigeration effect has to be developed okay now one by one i am telling you suppose the air is compressed in the compressor and temperature hikes okay so it comes out with temperature high temperature t1 so this is adiabatic compression so in adiabatic compression we know this thing temperature rises so temperature has been raised okay this you can equalize it with this process the second one the air is compressed similarly in the compressor air is compressed now it is passed through a heat exchanger okay this heat exchanger is open to the surrounding means heat can go out from this heat exchanger to the surrounding okay so when this air will pass through this heat exchanger its temperature will fall this is process third this one the heat is allowed to escape out of the system okay so air is compressed high temperature air is coming out it is passed through the hot heat exchanger so it loses the heat to the surrounding ultimately when this air comes out it is expanded in the turbine and adiabatic expansion takes place okay so what happens in adiabatic expansion the temperature drops okay when the heat has been rejected and the compressed air temperature falls then it is adiabatically expanded same thing over here that after cooling this air is expanded in the turbine so temperature falls to even lower level now you can see over here ultimately the air's temperature is lowest the volume of air is same means you can see that volume attained in both the cases are same but here it is a 40 degree here it is a 10 degree so this cool air can be sent to a heat exchanger which is used for developing refrigeration effect suppose this is a room okay this is an heat exchanger which is passing through the room so what will happen since this air is cool so heat of this room will be absorbed by this air now again it is going back to this compressor again it is compressed heat is lost to the surrounding by this hot heat exchanger again it is adiabatically expanded and then this cool air is again passed through the heat exchanger for developing the refrigeration effect okay this is how the gas cycle refrigeration system work one more thing that this compressor runs by the help of shaft okay so what happens whatever work is developed by the turbine is supplied to this compressor back so what happens when the adiabatic expansion takes place in the turbine then the amount of work developed is supplied back to this compressor okay so by this way practically a portion of amount of work is received back by this turbine for its operation because in compressor we have to work input by turbine we get work done okay this is how the gas cycle refrigeration system work now what are the advantages of gas cycle refrigeration system first thing that since there is no phase change process in this cycle means air remains in gaseous form all where okay therefore it can attain very low temperature means in case we want to develop a refrigeration effect then the temperature could be as low as minus 150 degree centigrade okay second thing is since air is used as a refrigerant therefore it is lightweight and suitable for aircraft refrigeration because in aircraft what we want least amount of load must be there least amount of weight must be carried with the aircraft since for vapor compression cycle the weight of the system becomes high but in this case the weight is light therefore it is very much suitable for aircraft refrigeration system and main disadvantage is that cop of such kind of refrigeration system that is coefficient of performance coefficient of performance for the case of this gas cycle refrigeration system is very less compared to that of vapor compression cycle so hope you would have understood the concept of gas cycle refrigeration system thank you